happy holidays. We're going to take a short break, but plan to be back in the new year. Don't forget to stay connected with us through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube too. In the meantime, enjoy our season's best. Lord Lee, tuning in to Liat Spirit. Welcome. Thank you. Great to be here. And where are you calling from? I'm calling from Encinitas, California. Liat, first thing I've got is I just see a funeral as if it was recent within the last month or two. Does that make sense? Yes. And I feel like you helped organize it or you were part of the organization of it. Yes. The spirit that's coming in, I feel it's female and she's on the maternal side. This is your mom that just crossed. Yes. Yeah. She says that you've already connected with her. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, that's true. I feel like her passing was sudden. It was. You knew that she was sick. She had her challenges and her problems, but you didn't know that she'd just like all of a sudden be gone. That's exactly right. Yeah. And she says, you felt like you didn't even get to say a goodbye. Is that correct? Absolutely. And she says, there's no need to say goodbye because there's nowhere she's gone. She's right there with you. That's why she's able to talk to me, to talk to you. That's reassuring to hear. You guys had already talked and did say a goodbye, but not in the way that you felt like if it was an official long-term forever goodbye, it felt like it wasn't the kind of goodbye you would want to give her. Does that make sense? Yeah, and I feel like I missed out on being there for her at, at the end because she was probably all, you know, she was all alone and yeah. probably scared. Yeah, and she says it was okay because if you had been there, you know, she probably wouldn't have gone because I feel like she was found. Somebody had called and called and called and left her messages and realized that somebody had found her. And then you got a call. Is that correct? Yes. And she says you got a call. So it was like a big shock. Big shock. And we're talking, she's far away from you. Yeah, New York, cross country. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's hard, honey. It was very hard. I was in the total state of shock. Yeah, and I'm sure you still are because it's still fresh because she shows me that the ceremony just happened. She says thank you for your contributions to that and honoring her. And you know what? Despite any differences you guys had in your relationship or any decisions you made in your own relationships, she's still your cheerleader. and She wants you to know that. That's really comforting to hear. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. And she will always, always, that's why she's here right now to make that connection with you. And when you decided to make the relocation, she knew that she was going to miss you greatly and miss out on the day-to-day connections with you. But she knew it was something you had to do for our quality of life. Yeah, I like the weather here and the people here and more of a community feel. Right. Nature. Right. You knew something was up because you did try to reach her. Is that correct? Yes. Somebody contacted me that he hadn't heard from her and was worried about her. So then I tried to call her and then I started calling the neighbors and they did a check on her. Right. She said it was lickety split. She's good. Mm -hmm. Right there with you, honey. Does she say what she died of? You know, she did show me a bunch of prescription pills that she had around her. I'm not saying it was the prescription pills necessarily. I just feel like there was something that needed to be changed and looked at and the follow-up didn't happen, if that makes sense. Absolutely. She didn't get in there enough in order to see anything that had risen. But I just also get a profound sadness because I felt like she was, like you said, alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was always afraid of dying. And she didn't believe in all this, like, communication mediumship, but I knew she would when she got to the other side. Well, here she is. I feel like she was a little bit more open than you realized. So she had hoped for the possibility. But anyway, thank you, Leah, for sharing your time with me today. Thank you so much for these comforting messages. This is great. Good. And if you'd like to call into the pre-recorded show like Leah, sign up at RadioMediumLaurelee.com. And listen, you can tune in to Spirit with me daily by subscribing to the podcast and please share it. And also know you can connect with me at Facebook Radio Medium Laura Lee Group. You can also touch base at Instagram, YouTube and Twitter too.